Okay, guys, we have a new crypto to talk about. This is not a meme coin. So for those of you guys who are looking into utility-based cryptocurrency projects, this one is certainly for you. Uh, we've had a really, really good run with some of these new uh, cryptos that have been launching. Uh, ZKML, if you guys remember, built on XRP Ledger. We partnered with them at around $6 million market cap. They went as high as 40 already. This is another one who uh, is actually followed by ZKML. ZKML. Similar in kind of the tech side and what they're doing, but I do want to break down what they do in this video, give you guys all the information you need, show you guys the chart they recently just launched uh, four days ago. Chart looks really solid. I want to give you guys all the breakdown. I will say a couple things here at the top before we dive into the specifics, take a look at the website, the chart, all of that sort of stuff. I do want to hit on a few things for you that is crucial to know. Some of the main points, if you will, driving home points. The swap that I'm about to talk about is called chain swap. And uh, we'll go ahead and put the chart on screen for you, and then we'll kind of work through this. But uh, the, the swap itself is going to be between chains. And I want to stop there and say why this is important. This is called interoperability. Some of the big chains that are kind of coming out now uh, is interoperable, meaning it can interact with different blockchains, not just Ethereum, not just Solana, not just insert blockchain here. Being interoperable gives you the ability to easily go across chain with things you're developing on top of it. Uh, it is using Chainlink CCIP, or in other words, Chainlink technology. I'm a huge proponent of Chainlink, obviously. Uh, I think this is awesome that they're getting more and more crypto projects utilizing that technology. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. And a privacy swap is also coming down the line as well for chain swap. Uh, we'll hop into the website. We'll come back to this chart because yes, they are sitting at a $14.5 million market cap. Liquidity is locked up, which is really, really good to see for a hundred years, by the way, 98% of their liquidity locked for a hundred years. That's almost a million dollars right now in liquidity locked. This looks to be one that definitely has some legs. And I know it's 14 million right now. You know, it's not one of those meme coins that's going to pump to the moon, but it could be a good long-term play that could be very early. Of course, as always, do your own homework, do your own due diligence. Don't just listen to what I say. I'm just putting you guys on some plays, putting you guys on some information. And it's up to you guys to kind of dive in and see what you like and see what you don't like. But here's their website. DeFi limits embrace anonymity, chain swap, where privacy meets secure cross-chain swaps. So a lot of people are going cross-chain, but they're not focusing on the privacy element as well. That's what I think is one of the things that makes chain swap here unique. Uh, privacy is really important to them, but also being cross-chain, which that is the future, guys. Projects integrated into chain swap ecosystem, they've got Arbitrum, Polygon, Ethereum, Avalanche, Optimism, Base, and BNB. Okay, embrace interoperability, unlock full potential of DeFi with this cross-chain swap utilizing Chainlink CCIP and Circle CCIP uh, technology to trade any token effortless, effortlessly between various leading blockchains all within a single platform. This is what we need in crypto, guys. We need to make it easier. What's very difficult right now is trying to explain people, A, not only just the importance of, you know, owning your own keys and owning your own crypto on the DeFi uh, side of things. But then they've got to learn not one system, but two, three, four, five, six different systems, right? If you start getting tokens on Ethereum and BNB and Base, and it's a very, very clunky process right now. And technology like this, what Chainswap is doing, they're trying to basically create this one home where all of this exists. You just got to come to this one application and get all of these sort of things you need to get done. I was just on a Twitter space recently, and we were talking about this point. What really sucks right now is there's not one app that's doing this, right? And a lot of people are vying to be that one app that gets adopted. Chain swaps right in there. Now, I mentioned they're also focusing on privacy. Well, Chain Swap has an advanced uh, mixer utilizing proprietary new technology. You can scramble your transaction history and enhance your financial anonymity, offering an additional layer of protection for all your on-chain transactions. That is something chains and companies and applications are always, always going to be focused on is privacy and security. So it looks like they're putting their best foot forward there uh, with that as well. So let me take, take you back to the website. So ChainSwap unlocks secure and efficient cross-chain swaps through Chainlink's CCIP. 
This innovative protocol boasting level five security through its decentralized network with an added, quote, risk management network, allowing for the seamless transfer of both data and tokens between blockchains. Uh, you can explore CCIP uh, cross chain by Chainlink. This is an infrastructure that Chainlink has that I think separates itself. And the fact that this chain swap is utilizing the technology is big. When we talk about cross chain, nobody's bigger right now, in my opinion, than Chainlink at, at, at this initiative with CCIP. Uh, it's one of the reasons why Chainlink is a large holding of mine and why I'm betting on it big in this bull run as well. But if I love Chainlink, why not make some plays on some of these smaller cap cryptos that are utilizing the technology? And again, we're still waiting for that one big application that blows everybody out of the water, right? We haven't got it yet when it comes to cross-chain swaps. And maybe chain swap could be that one, right? So we're definitely... Uh, going to be investing in this one as well. Full disclosure, they did sponsor this video. Shout out to them. They know that this kind of aligns with uh, things that I talk about on the channel quite often. I was happy to partner with, up with them and give them some extra exposure. That's not an endorsement. Okay. You don't have to listen to exactly what I'm saying, but I do want to be you know very transparent in that, that they are sponsoring this video here today. And it's up to you to kind of dive in deeper and decide if it's something that uh, you know fits your investing strategy. It says here as part of a new partnership, ZKML Systems, that's the company I mentioned, we've partnered with them in the past. They've been whitelisted on ChainSwap, will appear in the showcase token section on their cross-chain swap. Uh, ZKML has been uh, phenomenal. We worked with them. Um, they are built on the XRPL technology. So shout out to them as well. It looks like they've partnered here, these two companies, ChainSwap and ZKML. Absolutely love seeing it. I'm actually going to go ahead and respond to this quoted tweet here. Um, after we get done with this video. But that is what I've got for you guys. Make sure you do your due diligence. Hop in here and uh, I'll leave you all the links down below so you guys can dive into it for yourself and see if it's something that interests you. Appreciate you guys for watching the video. We'll see you.